Hello everyone, so this is my first video, but I've been a long time lurker and lover of Littlest Pet Shops. I have over 400 of them, and as you can see, I've been collecting for a long time, because over on this side we've got LPS number one, and I've also got LPS number 112 here. The reason I am making this video is because I know that a lot of people, probably like me, are interested in the Gen 7 Littlest Pet Shops. I've been obsessively watching videos about them. And finally, they are here in Canada. Now, I don't have all of them, but I got quite a bit today at the Toys R Us. So, I will start unboxing them, and we can look at these cute little guys while I continue explaining and get to it. So, I'm thinking I will start with one of the smaller tubes that I got. I got the three pack tube, so it's a really fun story. I called Toys R Us on Saturday because I heard that some Toys R Us's in Canada were getting Littlest Pet Shops and I was so excited. I called them and asked if they were in and they said no. They said check online. Once it says they're available online, that means they're available. And then I had an exam this morning. Right after the exam, I decided to check online if they were available, and they were. So I rushed into the store, and they were nowhere to be found. So I asked someone to check the back. He did. He came back out and said, nope, they're not here. And uh, I was like, really? Because they're on the website. And so my partner went with me. And suggested that we ask someone else. I wasn't sure if that'd be a little bit rude or not, but we did ask someone else and she said, oh actually I do have them. Well, it comes with a little uh, leaf thing that's cute and she went and got them. She got them out and immediately everybody swarmed. So I got to get what I think is at least one copy, or not at least, I got one copy of every pet shop that we saw there. I didn't manage to grab any doubles. She said they weren't supposed to be released yet, so she's putting them back right away, but wanted to make sure that we got some, so it was really kind of her. And I did not see any of the blind box packs, but I did get quite a few. It ended up being $214 Canadian to get all of the ones that I got. Hopefully you guys can see all of these okay. This one's the Rhino. And so for $214 Canadian, I was like, you know what? This has been something I've been dreaming out for a while. I literally have reoccurring dreams of the old style Littlest Pet Shops coming into stores. And when I heard that they were coming back, I got so excited. I'm so amazed that Canada got them first. Like this is just the highlight of my day, of my year. It's awesome. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get... I'll move these guys out of the way. I know that's not who you're interested in, but these are my little mascots. If you follow me on Instagram or Visco, you can see some more of them. They're newer accounts, but I will be posting more frequently. As of Friday, I will be done my exams, so I'll have a lot more time for you guys. And hopefully there will be more pet shops coming. I know there's going to be more Toys R Us exclusives that I'll be able to get. So, ooh, there. Okay, so I got this little leaf. This is a little snack for them. We've got here the pink rhino, and she's got these um, ears, and I think the star ears indicate that she is the sassiest. I think the whole set is the sassiest. Of course, we have the axolotl. My apologies, this is sticking. I'll move this out of the way. The axolotl, of course, is adorable, and this is a new mold that's never been seen before. I know there's also a pink one that came out but I have here the yellow one. You can see it's got some shiny stars. I'm not sure if it's focusing, I apologize. And it also has stars on its back. And of course it has the characteristic LPS symbol. It's in white, so it's a little bit hard to see, but I absolutely love this axolotl. It has the orange and the yellow. It The colors really go well together and it's an amazing new mold. I'm surprised because of its size. Like if you look, this is a chihuahua, so it is supposed to be small, but obviously, Chihuahuas are larger than axolotls in real life, so I was a little bit surprised by how large the axolotl was, but I'm definitely not disappointed. I hope everyone else likes it as much as I do. The rhino, this mold is the exact same as um, some previous rhinos that I have, which I can show in 
um, upcoming videos some comparisons. I know that I have a blue rhino. This one also has the LPS on the back. It's just in dark pink there and it has a dark pink tail and I really like it. It's got some nail polish which is super cute and as all of the gen 7s they have the hole in their foot so that you can put them on the molds i know some of them come with little decorative molds which we'll see later and uh, it's not the same magnet as characteristic of the older generations like this one but we knew that that's been gone for a while lastly we have this little guy i love him i believe he's an iguana um i should definitely check officially but the best thing that i like about it is the texture there it's really satisfying to feel. And I know I've been commenting on um, some people's Instagram. A lot of people have been wondering about the material, thinking that it smells like really plasticky. It doesn't, it smells like just like a normal toy when you first open it. You know, it does have a little bit of a, a smell, but it's definitely nothing toxic seeming as people were um, concerned about. As you can see, he's got very in intricate toes which I really like. And on the bottom there, it does, it does still say Hasbro. Sorry, I had to move him for a second, but it does still say Hasbro on the bottom. I wasn't sure if it would say basic fun or anything, but I don't see that anywhere. You've even got some little dots on the side here. So it's very intricate. I'm really loving the reptiles from this series. So he's got LPS on the back whoop, and it's in green. So that's really cool that it's in green. Just that kind of goes with him. He's got the purple eyes. So I think that he's probably sassiest as well just because he's with the other ones with stars. Oh, there's the star, it's on his stomach. So that would be uh, why he is. And he's got quite a good bobble as you can see there. So I'm very impressed. I think that this three set is my favorite of the three sets, which is why I wanted to do it first. And it does come with a little card and a little Roblox tab. I don't play Roblox. So if anyone can do anything with that, go ahead. I might not show all of them because I'm not sure if they're reusable or not and I don't wanna confuse too many people. But it comes with a little card here. So this card is of the rhino there and um, it comes with some rarity symbols. So the star means sassiest, which is a little bit weird because if you look at this, the star is in yellow and on the card the star is in green so I'm not sure what that's about but anyway and then it says level three not sure what that means probably something with Roblox and rarity it says it's rare so that's pretty cool I'm not sure why it doesn't come with a card for all three of them I mean I did know that each would come with only one card but I'm wondering if people want to collect the cards you're not gonna buy three sets of the three so I don't know how you would get the other cards so I'll leave those there for you to look at while I grab another one. Maybe I'll grab a five pack this time. So I have this pack. I know this is one of the first ones that we got a glimpse of from the accidental potentially Amazon presale. I know once I found out about it, they were not there. This was a while ago. They have now have another presale going on. So if you're in the US, you could get those um, from pre-sale and they'll be shipped out around January 15th. So we've got a seagull. This looks a lot like one of the older seagulls that I have. We've also got a dog. We have a fish. This also looks a lot like one of the older fish that I have, but the older one that I had didn't have those uh, diamonds on it. And there was, well, there's a dolphin and a pelican. And those are both new to me. I'm not sure if anyone else has similar pets, but those are new to me. I also know that there was a similar dog in the past, but this one does not have eyebrows, which I think is a difference as well. It's got a little heart on its neck there. So I will just go ahead and open that up. I do like the, these are pretty like simple boxes to open, which is nice. Oh, maybe I jinxed myself, I'm not sure. Oh, ripping it now. So I won't be able to redo this later, that's for sure. I'm not a professional unboxer. For anyone else wanting to know a little bit about me again, I haven't made any YouTube videos before. I haven't really thought of anything that other people wouldn't all have, but uh, getting the first release of the Canadian Littles Pet Shops is definitely one of them. If you guys wanted to see the back picture, that's what it is. 
it's quite pretty. It has a, oh, it has a picture of the fish card. So I'm wondering if that's the card I get. Maybe that's how you can tell. I guess we'll find out in a moment. It is not. So in the bottom of the box, they have the little um, collector's guide, which I can fill out with you guys later. And they have a little card. So in this one, I got the dog. It also has a star. So I guess he's sassiest, but he's got a little heart on his neck. So that's confusing to me. Um, and it's got a blue circle, so let me see what that means. A blue circle means level 1 rarity, so I guess it's not that rare. Or no, level 1, just period. And uh, it's core. So this is G61, that's his card. So let's take a look. We've got a pizza here, I think that's new. I definitely don't have any pizzas from my old pets. I think that's really iconic, honestly. We've got the little sailboat here. I've seen some other people posting their little sailboats. I think they're really cute. We have a basket here. I do know that these baskets existed before. We have some of them. I don't have any that are the same yellow. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it's like a, it's a nice yellow, kind of like a tangerine or something. I guess it's like a little bit orangey. A mango, that's what I would say, a mango color. So I'm just gonna put this pizza in the basket, you know, so I have a little snack. A little bottle here. I think that's similar to ones that have existed before. I'll add that to the basket. Binoculars have definitely been around before. They're movable. Very nice. We got a watermelon. I, I definitely have seen the watermelon oh, before. And that has flown onto my floor. I will leave that because I'm sure you're not watching for the watermelon. We've got here uh some peanuts I haven't seen that before I did take a break from collecting for a while once they uh, transition to the I've been seeing a funny video circulating um, the weird the strange pets once they transition to the strange pets I uh, stopped collecting I would only grab them here and there so once they brought these back I was so excited okay so we'll start off with this fish I love these fish because they're very detailed. If you can see, he's got some scales there. He's also got some diamonds. Um, they're mainly red, but there is like a purple diamond there. So that's pretty cool. On the tail, it has the LPS symbol. And on the bottom, that's the same as we've expected. And he's got purple eyes and uh, just one little eyelash. And he's got some little kissy lips, which is cute. I'll put him behind there. I've got the dolphins, so... I don't have any dolphins yet, so the dolphins new to me. My apologies, I'm not the best at unboxing. I'll try and be gentle, but that's probably really loud for you guys. Okay, so I got it out. So this dolphin, it's a nice teal color. It looks like it has a lightning bolt. We can uh, find out in a moment what that indicates and it's got a blowhole which is super cute i did notice online their tails have this line here it made me think that maybe you could twist it around but you can't um and it's got the bottom similar this one definitely feels kind of like squishy if you can see it is squishing a little bit um so I don't know if you like that, dislike that, you can let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. And I know some people were concerned about the feeling of them. Okay, this pelican, gorgeous. I love, it's got like a beige color, green eyes. It's definitely like realistic coloring. And I know a lot of people were wanting that. So I'm gonna unhook him from the back here now. I'm in love with this pelican actually. So he's got like very cool green eyes, kind of like a brownish green for the second ring there. The wings have quite a bit of detail and it's got it's kind of the same mango colored feet as the basket that we saw earlier and he's got like a white underbelly. Uh, it says LPS and he's got brown on the top, but I'm wondering if he has any symbols on him. I'm not seeing any. So maybe he doesn't have any symbols like some of the other ones did. 
I know we did mention looking for the lightning bolt, so that is Sportius. So the dolphin is Sportius then. Oh, okay, so he did have this symbol kind of upside down on his forehead, so maybe the pelican is the hungriest, and then the fish would be the fanciest. And it's interesting because this dog has a heart on it, so I would think that it would be the friendliest, but its card said sassiest unless i'm misinterpreting that maybe it's the color that you go with because it was a green star if anyone wants to let me know in the comments i would appreciate it this one also came with a pink coin so i won't show the code because again i don't know if they're reusable but that's interesting because the previous one came with a gold coin so i'm wondering if there's a significance to that and now we have the seagull so i'll just put the lane there this seagull is um, very, very similar to another seagull that was near the end of the normal looking Littlest Pet Shops with the, uh, it came with a purple cat and I think it came with a dog as well. I remember, I'm trying to picture the setup, I can't fully remember, but there was definitely like a purple sparkly cat with it. And yeah, I think there was like a, a dog, I maybe mean, it was a brown dog. Okay, so hopefully you guys didn't see too much of me there, but this is the seagull. It does have some hearts on it and it looks kind of like, it's interesting. Um, it looks like there's a hair on it or something, but it's not. They didn't uh, smooth out the paint on its chest. So I guess if people were worried about quality, maybe that's a quality thing. I wouldn't say that it's much worse than like previous Littles Pet Shops. I'd say it's pretty cute. I like its eyelashes. I like that ring on its feet. I think these are what like sets it apart from the older version that's quite similar, like similar color and everything. And once again, it has LPS on the side and a hole on the bottom. And lastly, we'll get to this dog, which was one of the uh, previous ones that everyone got to see pretty early on. And I'll get rid of that. You guys can see the ones in the background here if you'd like. So this dog, like I said, he's got a little heart on his neck, which I think is kind of cute. And other than that, it's just like a basic dog. I know it's not one of the dog molds that everyone loves. A lot of people complaining about no top fives, but honestly, I think if there's a top five in the first release, that it would have gotten really crazy. When I first saw them in the boxes, I thought that they were, like, way bigger than my old Lil's Pet Shops, which, I mean, this is a Chihuahua, so it makes sense that they would be bigger. But honestly, they do seem normal size now that they're out of the box. I don't know if the, um, the plastic was making them appear larger to me or what. Okay, so we will get back to a and I'll just move these out of the way. I know a lot of people really liked this tube. There's been some people online commenting about the otter. I've seen some really funny videos about it actually. I'm sure you guys can go on Instagram and find exactly what I'm talking about. So we've got this adorable shark and an otter and another seagull but this one is more white with blue on it versus the other one was like a light blue with darker blue on it so the other one is pretty easy to open not sure if this will be the same i did pre-take the tape off of the other one before the video so i probably should have done that to all of them but if you guys like suspense then you can watch me 